finally guys, what you've all been waiting for, another trucking video on how to reverse a Swedish Scania with a trailer. We've been asked to do a how to reverse with a truck and the trailer. We're gonna do that today, and I got my buddy here, Eddie. He's Eddie. helping me record, and uh, we wanna know in the comments, is there anything else that you wanna see? Any different angle, any different, or it could be a totally different video. Just let us know in the comment down below, right? My name is Etienne Fuge. In this video, you're gonna see a couple of different angles. I would like to know how you like them and if that helps you to understand what Alex is talking about. Write down in the comments what you like or what we missed out, right? Because yes. we're only humans, we can miss parts too, right? Yes. So let's continue today's video. Thank you for helping me. Let's yeah. rock and roll. <laughs> Before we continue today's video, make sure to go to buffenergy.eu and use Alex Tistrom 20 for 20% off of your entire order. It's also linked down in the description down below. All right, let's keep on trucking, guys. So what we got here today is a Scania 5 Series. I think it is a 560. Not that it matters too much for what we're gonna do today. But we do have the Scania truck with the five axle trailer. And how to reverse these things is it's pretty complicated to explain, but I'll try to show you. And the first thing I wanna show you is that the front axle turns, right? So as you can see here, this whole front axle actually does turn, right? And what uh, connects the truck to the trailer is this bar right here. So I like to explain it to people as if, imagine this being um, a car, right? You wanna, you wanna parallel park your car, it's the same thing, the front axle turns. You're only using the truck to push the trailer towards where you wanna go, right? So what I look for in the mirrors before we jump in, I always peek out the window or look in the mirror and I try to see if, if this fender right here lines up with this, that means the trailer is going straight, right? That makes sense. Right now, this one does not line up, right? This one is facing that way and the trailer is facing this way. So that means that the trailer is going to obviously turn like this, right? So and what you do is you push the, you use the truck to push the bar to push it the other way if you want to make it straight. If you want to turn more, you're going to turn the truck to the left and it's going to angle the front axle even more, right? So I look at this uh, with this one. I line these two up and see, and I can also watch this. This section right here, this corner, if this one pretty much lines up with this corner right here, the last thing you can see of the truck, that means you're gonna hold the angle steady. So like if this one lines up with this, usually you're holding a steady angle. Moving back here, this is the rear part of the trailer, right? We have these lights, we got one on each side. If I'm reversing, this is the left side, this is the driver's side of the trailer, right? If I'm reversing and I'm looking at, you know, this side of the trailer, if this little light starts to disappear while I'm going straight, it means that the trailer is turning, right? Because I'm looking in the left mirror, and if it starts to disappear, it means that it's going to the right. So then I have to look over to the right mirror to see this one on the right side. If I do see both of them while going straight, it means that the trailer is going straight. So you can look for this, the angle of the front axle and the, and the box of the truck, sorry, of the trailer, obviously, and also um, the corners, uh, last corner of the truck and front corner of the trailer. Three things to look for. I want to show you guys what happens. Now the truck and the trailer is almost completely straight. I'm going to pretend that I'm reversing and thinking that it's straight because it does look like it is straight, right? But I'm going to turn a little bit to the right, just a little bit in the beginning. Now I'm going to straighten it out. See what happens to the trailer. It's starting to come all the way there by a little bit, a little bit of an angle, and I start to go back. I'm still holding pretty much straight. You see? The more I go, I have a straight steering wheel. 
the more I go, the more the trailer comes out. You see? And you don't want that. Look, now you jackknife the whole thing. So, the slightest angle on the steering wheel, if you if you don't correct it in the beginning, you're gonna you're gonna jackknife the trailer. Look at this. So the trailer is right there. The front axle is straight. But if I reverse just by a little bit, like a little bit, you can see that it's almost straight. And I keep the steering wheel as it is. I'm not touching anything. It's starting to walk over in that mirror on my side. And it's starting to slowly, slowly, slowly walk there. And as you can see, it's getting worse and worse and worse. I'm still holding it straight. Worse and worse and worse and worse. And now you see, you're almost hitting that parked truck on the right side. And also your trailer is destroying your neighbor's house right there already so what you want to do i'm going to go straight straighten it out see that it's following and it's almost straight so what i like to do when reversing straight i like to watch the corner you see the front corner of the trailer with the lower light the upper light i like to reverse like this i catch the corner so now they're straight now with each other. It looks like one part, corner to corner. And I massage like a little bit left. It disappeared, it's coming out there. So now I have to go to the right. I go back, holding it to the right. I see the trailer again. The more I see of the front end of the trailer, the more it's gonna turn over that way. So if I go, if I go and turn more to the right like this, and I see more and more and more, you see that the front axle starts to turn, right? You don't want that. So, drive again. I'm not touching the steering wheel. It's the same, same thing. Just straighten it out. Now, the front axle is pretty much straight. What I want to do, wheels are now straight, but I see that the front axle is turning like a little bit. So I want to turn a little bit too. I'm gonna hit it in reverse. And I'm gonna hold it corner to corner. If I see that I'm, I'm seeing more of the front axle or front end of the trailer like this, I'm gonna move to the left to take it away. I see it in the, a little bit to the right. And like I massage it like a little bit, like this. So I always try to keep the corner to corner thing. And I watch the little light. I don't, I'm not really sure if you can see the little light there all the way to the end of the trailer. But if I can still see that, now I can't see it because the truck is further out than the trailer. So that means I have to go to the right. I go to the right, I now see the light, and I now see the front corner. And so I'm just trying to hold corner to corner, and just massage like a little bit. Not much, just, just tiny, tiny movements all the time. I'm going to pretend that I'm going to the left here, I'm going to pull up, and I'm going to pretend that I'm doing like an angle, angle reverse into this bar right here. So, obviously, turn up to the left. I'm actually gonna straighten it out like just like a little bit. There you go. I look out and I do believe that the front axle and the rear end of the trailer has a decent angle, right? So I'm gonna hit reverse. And I'm gonna turn it over a little bit to the left to make it turn more. Front axle is disappearing. I'm turning to the right again. And as you can see, you can actually see the front end of the trailer in that mirror. I'm gonna reverse here. And right now, see that it's turning a lot. I'm gonna go forward a little bit, but hold the camera for you like this. You see that it's turning a little bit too much. So I wanna decrease the angle which means that we're gonna straighten the front axle out by turning this way, right? So now we decrease the angle a little bit. You see it's coming? There you go. And now I see that, I don't know if you can see that, but I do see the front corner of the trailer and it's matching the rear one of the truck, which means if I hold this now, look at this. I turn a little bit to the left to hold this angle. I have to turn more to the left, I'm sorry. That means, you see that the angle, the corners 
of the truck and the trailer, the distance is the same. I'm not moving it. That means the front axle is being, is being held steadily in the same angle all the time. And now I reversed a little bit and I think that, hmm, this is all right. This is good. I don't need to turn more. I want the trailer to go straight. I'm gonna straighten out the axle by turning to the right. I know this is a lot to take in. What do you see? Axle is now straight. And I turn back to the left again to follow the trailer. Now I'm pulling in. But keep in mind though, whenever you're doing this, trailer is straight. Trailer is going straight. But your truck, front right, is going to move. The truck is moving this way. So you have to watch the front right corner. Keep that in mind. That guy just passed. So look, I'm holding it steady like this. I'm turning. My front wheels are turned all the way to the left. You see? And now when I want to continue with this angle, I see that the front wheels are turning slightly. So we're going to decrease a little bit by turning to the right. But you have to watch that mirror. Right there. The front axle is matching the box of the trailer so that they are straight. I'm in reverse. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's difficult to explain. If I do reverse to the left now to keep the bar between the truck and the trailer straight, see that the trailer is moving straight. And now if I continue this angle, you see that I'm decreasing the gap between the corners of the truck, the front corner of the truck and the trailer. If I decrease more, it's going to turn over. It's going to turn more again. You see, and now the front axle is turned. I don't want that. So I'm going to hit drive, keep the wheel as it is, right forward, straighten it out. So you want to match this, reversing. So you want to match this by turning the truck so that always look at the front axle of the trailer. Always look at the front axle of the trailer. So I'm just turning a little bit like this. Try to try to move the front axle. I'm massaging it back and forth. You see? So I'll show you different angles and different different uh, tips and tricks. I know that this might be a little bit difficult to explain, but I'm trying my very best here. And Eddie is also giving us the outside views. I'm gonna pretend that I wanna reverse in next to these two trucks right there. What I would wanna do, we have a limited space. I would pull up like this. And also Eddie is gonna show you from the outside. I would go pretty close to these two trucks right here. And I want to put my trailer in here. It, I'm going to put the trailer in here, in this space right here. Yeah. Somewhere here, yeah. So what I would want to do is I would go to where I want to put it. Like when I have my window in line, where kind of where I want to have the truck uh, trailer. I'm going to turn the steering wheel all the way to the right here. And now you see the right there and now I don't want to hit these posts so I'm gonna turn all the way to the left I'm starting to see the trailer and I have to this space is a little bit narrow so I'm turning to the right now to ch change the angle front angle of the trailer as you see right so now it's turning more because I want to hit reverse from here be careful because you do have a post right here and you do have the same post right there. So not heavy movements. I need, I want to turn, I'm looking at the rear. It's the rear of the trailer is turning towards that truck. So I want to angle it more, meaning I'm going to turn to the same side as I'm watching it. So like, I want to have more angle. That means I'm going to push it this way. I start to see more of the front end right there. And I'm reversing with the, I'm not moving the steering wheel. I'm pushing the trailer in. And now, I do believe that this is a good angle, right? The trailer is all the way down there. This is, this is actually a bit too much. I have to straighten this out. I'm very sorry. I'm watching the GoPro and not watching what I'm doing. I'm going to turn like a little bit to the left. Now, 
I'm gonna turn to the right, decrease the angle a little bit because it was way too much. I'm watching this post because this is getting narrow. And now I wanna move my head out to see, okay. The direction here is pretty good. I'm trying to show you with my finger. It's pointing in to the yard where I wanna go. So, I'm reversing, I'm pushing. I'm pushing this, and now this is pretty much, I wanna go straight from here, and the axle is not straight. So I will turn this way to the right to straighten this axle out. Look, I'm straightening it out. It's almost straight, but now there are a few mailboxes down there. So now I move the truck to the right, so I have to be cautious. But the trailer is in a good angle. Now the axle is completely straight, but I can't continue like this because if I do, it's gonna turn the opposite way. So now I wanna move the steering wheel fully to the right, I mean left, sorry. And you see that I was a bit too slow. So what happened was it started turning the opposite direction. So what I'll do, so I'll hit drive. I'm sorry, this is very hard to do while watching because I'm watching the little screen on the GoPro and I'm not really watching what I'm doing. Watch the mailboxes down there. Turn a bit to the right, decrease the angle. See, it's turning back, decrease the angle. Now it's pretty much straight again. Hit reverse. And now I'm gonna turn this steering wheel to the left. Meaning the front right of the truck is gonna peek out to the right and I do have the mailboxes. So be careful. So I'm trying to show you what I can see here. Now, you see the front axle, it's pretty straight, it's pretty decent. Look at the front axle. Now I'm matching this one up. I need to turn to the right now, like a little bit. And I'm watching the corners, I'm massaging the corners. I'm holding it steady now with the top two corners. The trailer's moving exactly, it's not changing anything. Now I'm moving a little bit to the right, like a little bit, and seeing more of the front, and now I'll turn back. And now I'm just massaging it in as I showed you before. And that's pretty good. Now we stop. Handbrake. I am going to pull out from here and we're going to do the exact same thing. But I'm not going to be explaining as much again. I am just going to reverse in and we're going to show you overhead from a drone what it looks like. And I'll just do it like pretty automatically. But I will try to follow with the camera with what I'm doing. So if I'm looking to the left, I'm going to move the camera left. If I'm looking to the right, that means the camera's pointing the right way, right? So bear with me, I'm gonna turn around here. Eddie is uh, flying the drone up here. We're gonna show you what this looks like. I'm pretending that the two trucks, the two Scania trucks, they're at this terminal and they have their own little gates and I wanna reverse. I'm having the gate behind them, next to them. So I pull up close. My door is lining up with, next to the Scania pretty much. I turn up all the way to the right. And then I go all the way to the left. And I'm trying to position the trailer to where I want it to be. It has a great angle. Watch the two posts. I hit the reverse. I'm looking out. Okay, I see that it's pointing towards that Scania. I don't want to reverse into that. So I'm going to do more angle. I don't want to run into that car, the truck. Watching for the mailboxes. Sorry for the squeaking sound of this knob right here. This is just quickly, like a quick brief. So this is kind of how you do it, quickly, without explaining too much. This is what it will look like. 
so that was pretty much it for today's video and I do want to thank you guys for watching and I also want to know as we said in the beginning please let us know in down and below in the comments if we missed something that you want to see or if there's anything else that you want to see let uh, just help us help you so to speak and before we wrap it up too I want to give a big shout out and thanks to San Lutzen Transport for giving us the opportunity to show you guys so they're actually helping you guys to see how to do this right because they lent us the truck and they told us they gave us thumbs up green light go ahead show the people how it's done and hope it helps somebody right so a big shout out to them and thanks for watching subscribe comment down below see you in the next keep on trucking guys